Welcome back to another episode of Car John powered by Collects and Car Dealer Pro. I'm David from the Collects team, and this is uh, Ted Mann, the co founder and CEO of Collects. Uh, we have a lot to get in, in store and talk about today. And the big news, Ted, is Collects Marketplace is here. Yeah, it was a, a labor of love uh, and, and something we're super excited about. Um, I think it's going to be game changing for the app, for all the users and collectors on the app, and hopefully, you know, in time for the for the hobby at large. Uh, so we're going to go into the intricacies of the Collects Marketplace, and we've been working on it for a long time. So take take your own back of, of you know, how, how long it takes to get up a Marketplace up on Collects, and we'll go through each kind of step of how people can ship and uh, you know, buy and sell cars on, on collect. So take me back, you know, even a month or two ago or, or et cetera, like, like how, how tell, tell me the ins and outs of, of getting to this point. I'll, I'll go all the way back to the start. So uh, a lot of people have heard the collect story about how this app came to be. I was helping my son try to figure out what his cards are worth. One of the next things that happens after you figure out what your cards are worth is if you feel like, you know, you got a card that's worth something, um, you know, meaningful, uh, but you, you know, you're not in love with it anymore. And there's another card you're looking for. What do you do? You go to look to sell it. And so my son started asking me about selling his cards and, you know, he tried selling it with the local card shop where he got kind of taken advantage of. Um, I won't say by who, um, but, uh, you know, and then he asked me about eBay. And so we started trying to list cards on eBay and, um, eBay's great. I mean, it is, you know, the de facto place where most people go to buy and sell cards, but what, we quickly learned because I hadn't actually ever sold a card on eBay up to that point. Um, is it's it's really time consuming and tedious. And as I started talking, talking to more and more people in the hobby, I realized this is a just as much of a frustration uh, that people have as figuring out what their cards are worth. So, set our minds early on at Collects to having a, a, a an experience where you can buy and sell cards easily. Um, but we wanted to do a few things differently from eBay. We basically wanted to make the experience faster, easier, something that, that really anybody can do. Mm -hmm. Um, and I was doing it in part to help my son, but of course, just to help myself and other collectors out there have a way to, to easily get your cards listed and ready for sale. And then also to buy. Um, and we built a bunch of cool things in the marketplace that I think do streamline that process. Uh, and it took a long time to build this because as I, as I learned the hard way, marketplaces are complicated. There are uh, just a lot of scenarios you need to take into account. There's a lot of different aspects to selling a card. Um, and so we had to take all of that into, into account, but eventually we, we got it launched. We, we kind of did a soft launch mm -hmm. with, with a, with a wide group of users. And then we rolled it out to all of our users, uh, just recently. And then we're now in July. So yeah. we were all that earlier this month. Uh, so new to collects is credit card checkout, shipping labels and tracking, buyer protection. And of course, if you're watching this, please update the latest version of collects in the app store uh, or Google play. Um, but let's go into checkout. So like t talk me through of someone finding a card, like how does that process work? Uh, and obviously we're, we've been doing a lot of marketing videos of showcasing of people how to buy, sell, list your car for sale. But t talk me through it in detail, like the, the collects checkout feature. So the, the the first thing I'll start with, um, and I'll get into the sort of the nuts and bolts of of, mm -hmm. of, of, of what exactly you do, what you what, what you what you click on. But the first thing you got to do is you got to make contact with this with the seller, right? Um, I, I found that this, honestly, no matter where you're you're, you're buying a card, whether it's at a card show or at a shop or whatever, have a conversation first, um, establish that that initial contact, and we make that really easy in the Collect app because we have this chat feature. We've had it since day one, um, and it works really well. And so you can just reach out and message them and say, you know, are you looking to sell? You know, if they put up price on the card, chances are they are, but it doesn't hurt to follow up and say, you know, I really like your collection. I'm really interested in this card. I'm also interested in, you know, Phillies cards in general. Do you have any other really good ones you'd want to sell me? And have that discussion. I, I, I encourage you to do that before you go ahead and start talking cash, you know, and money. Um, and then once you've kind of decided what you want to buy, there are really two paths. Path one is is that you can create a deal. We've had this feature in the app for a little while, and deals are really cool. They're a way for you to bundle together one or more cards and uh, and and negotiate them. Um, so if you find ten cards from a seller, I think you've done some deals like this, right, Dave? Yeah, we can talk about that. If you want. Yeah. So uh, when you find a bunch of cards, it actually makes the whole experience a lot more fun. You know, just getting a single card from somebody is is all fine and good. But if you can find like 10 cards, if you can fill out like a whole little collection or set that you're trying to build, uh, so much cooler. 
So you can bundle all those cards together. And then if you want to haggle a little bit, and haggling is kind of the part of the fun of the whole um, collecting process, you can make an offer. That person on the other end will get a notification. They can counter. You go back and forth. And then when you have an agreed upon price, you can then check out. Yeah, That's path, that's path one. I actually recommend most people start by adding a card to a deal. If you want to just, you know, skip right to, to go, you can just uh, click on buy it now and that will take you straight into a checkout flow on that individual card. Or if you add a bunch of cards to a deal and you click buy it now, you'll buy it for whatever the person has listed the card at, um, whatever they're asking prices. Um, and then it's it's pretty straightforward. It's like any other e-commerce site. You know, you put in your address. If you don't have one on file, mm -hmm. you add a, a payment method. Again, if you don't have one already on file, you can pay with credit card, you pay with Apple Pay. Um, we even have Clex Credit. So we've, we've been giving out a lot of credits to users who've, uh, power users, ambassadors, and other, as we're going to be doing a lot more of that. Yeah. Um, so you can apply that as well. And then once you do that, you're going to get a little confirmation screen that says, you know, success. And uh, you'll get an email as well. The the seller will get an email with the shipping label, and you you should be good to go. Hopefully, you get the card in a matter of a couple of days. Yeah, it's a really smooth process for those who ha are trying to do a deal and collect for the first time. I'm actually, as we're taping this, uh, getting my second big purchase of like, you know, 40 plus cards and last night I was kind of antsy like when is this going to come went down scrolled down to the bottom saw the tracking label uh and it's coming uh in the next like day or so so that's cool um, I'm, I'm, what did you get it was the uh 1982 wrestling all-star cards reached out to a collector he only scanned like three or four of them and uh he had more than those three or four cards and that's what I think is really cool is that there's so many different collectors I'm sure you have a take on this too of like there's people in collects that want to sell their whole collections. There's people that like just want to know what it's worth. And there's people that like, you know, scan one card and next thing you know, hey, do you have any more of this of any more Bryce Harper cards? Oh yes, I have the whole set from two thousand and whatever. So like it's really cool how like each each buyer and, and, and user is different and they're using collects in a different way. And the marketplace is just super smooth. That like you said, the messaging feature to add multiple cards to a deal. Actually the the deal I did recently uh, I never had a Mickey Mantle card. It was a, a, a really, you know, cheap Mickey Mantle card. It'll probably come back authentic or PSA one. And I had the deal in my mind already done and I saw it and I was like, you know what? Hey, would you, can I throw this in for an extra X amount of dollars? And, and she did. And so that's the beauty of, like you said, you know, I don't think a lot of people are just buying one card. I mean, they can on the Clex marketplace, but it's a cool, um, process of like, you know, adding bundles to a deal. So if you're buying 17 cards and you think you're ready to check out, that might turn into 24 cards. I think I think most people do, uh, like when we look at the numbers, m most transactions are for just one or, or so cards, but it's a much better experience when you can yeah. find, a, find a whole bunch. And we want to make that better, you know, and this is constantly evolving, so we want to create tools for you to be able to see, you know, like let's say you have a wish list of like these, I'm looking for these 20 cards, and if you can find out that the seller that you're talking to has all those, you create a really streamlined path to being able to just get all those added to your to your deal. Um, so we'll, we'll we'll continue to iterate on it, and make it yeah. better and better. Um, but we're super psyched to get the first version out. Should we talk about selling a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. So selling is uh, um, put a lot of love into the process of selling. Um, if, again, if anybody's ever used eBay, you know it it, it it can be time consuming just to get the hang of it all. Um, there's a there's a pretty steep learning curve. So we wanted to simplify it. Um, the first thing that we focused on was shipping. So shipping can be really complicated if you, uh, if you've never, you know, shipped cards before. And we, you know, talking to a lot of people in the hobby, we basically distilled it down to two options, uh, two primary options. One is, um, using a standard envelope. Um, so eBay actually came up with a great innovation called the eBay standard envelope, which is basically like putting a postage stamp on an envelope, but then adding a tracking code on there as well. Not a USPS first class tracking, which is actually quite expensive, um, you know, typically like four bucks or more. Yeah. Um, but we were able to basically apply these tracking codes onto onto the envelope so that you can still get tracking, but but really for just a little bit more than the cost of a postage stamp. So it starts at like 75 cents. So that's kind of like our favorite method if you're sending raw cards, um, because you can put... Um, I think you usually get up to three raw cards before you reach like the weight limit that you can't do the yep. standard envelope. Um, now, if you're if you're shipping like a graded card or thirty cards like the deal you did, that's where you're going to want to go to a package, um, and we'll actually automatically 
bump you up to a package if you exceed the weight limit or the, or the dollar threshold. Um, and that's going to use a USPS first class package label. Um, so we get both those options and incor incorporating all this is, is automatically you're going to have the tracking code on the or you're going to have the ability to track where the package is. So you can open that up in the app at any time, I guess, like you, you were saying you did. Mm -hmm. um, and the and the seller is going to get the the label just emailed to them. You can also get it through the app and you just print it right off the spot. Um, you could also print a packing list to go with that. So, I mean, you know, we're not exactly, you know, this is not totally uncharted territory. You know, a lot of other um, sites and apps uh, do this, but we tried to make it really affordable um, because when you're talking about like, you know, lower value cards, you know, you don't want to like, you, you know, you don't want to spend more shipping the card than the card is worth. The last option, which I should probably mention is that if, if, if you happen to be a pretty savvy shipper and you have already a method or some shipping service you like to use, you can say, I'll generate my own label and you can put a price and you can say shipping for, for me is five bucks. And then th that $5 is passed through to you. You go make your own label. The only thing that's really important for people who are selling that way to know is you want to come back into the app and add that tracking code after the fact and mark the item as shipped so that the the person on the other end can actually see that. Correct. Yep. If you don't have any tracking code on it, it's it's really tough if the per if the person ever gets the cards to to you know to help there. Yeah. But um, but we implemented this this really cool policy called Collect to Protect. So if you're using our shipping, and you have that tracking code on there. We are basically going to guarantee that uh, that you're going to have a good experience. And if you don't get the cards, you don't arrive, we'll refund you the money. If the cards arrived and they're damaged or they're not like they're not like they, they, they don't match what was in the listing, we'll also um, issue a, on us a free return label so that you can you can get um, get a return processed as well. Uh, and I didn't mention this, but uh, there's a 10 percent collects fee paid by a seller to cover a 3% uh, credit card processing fee and uh, other transaction costs as well. And on top of that, uh, right now, uh, checkout and shipping are only available uh, in the U.S. Correct. Yeah, we don't have this yet international. We don't have international shipping yet, um, and we're not taking international payments. So, um, unfortunately, our friends in Canada, so the app is available in Canada. We don't have it turned on yet for Canada. Mm -hmm. um, but um, but for anybody in the U.S., you know, I think it's, it's, it's going to be a pretty good option. And I think the Collect Protect policy, I, I, I hope, gives people a lot of confidence that they know they're not going to get hosed. Right. Sure. So we basically take payment when you purchase the card, we essentially escrow the funds and they don't get released until the card has arrived and been confirmed. Mm -hmm. um, so I, I know some people are used to getting money automatically or very quickly from eBay. Yep. Um, that's a little bit different, but it's honestly, it's, it's a better, more fair way to do it because that way both the buyer and the seller know that they're protected. The seller knows somebody's already paid for this. They know that they're going to eventually get the money once the card arrives. And again, on the on the on the buyer side, you know that the person's like not going to just like take your money and run. Uh, I guess last thing as we, you know, talking about uh, the Clex marketplace, which is officially live, is uh, my money. So like talk about like how people can, you know, when they do a deal, if they want to keep buying more cards with that money or a Clex credit, like how do people go about doing that? Yeah, so my money is uh it's a screen in the app where you can see basically a tally of all of the the money that you've made from selling cards. Um, so it's a place where you go to see, you know, how much you have currently pending, like how many cards are out, like in shipment and transit. You can see how many have actually, you know, all the money that's hit your hit your account. That's that's redeemable. Mm -hmm. um, you can use those funds to go buy other cards on Collects. That's an option, or you can just take it, at, you know, withdraw it to your bank account, um, which works as well. So we give you all those options. And that's also the screen where you're going to be able to put in, like if you get a, a collect promo code or credit, um, you'll be able to put that in there as well. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, very exciting times here at the Collex team. Uh, marketplace is finally here. Uh, I guess let, let anything else you want to add on the marketplace, Ted, that as we, it's kind of like a, a tutorial. Of it's giving kind, of, people kind, of, kind of random, but I want to give a shout out to our friends at Poshmark. Um, we actually have some investors who work at Poshmark and really love the way that they built their marketplace. We think yeah. it's like actually a, just a, like the perfect model for how to do this. Um, but we looked at a bunch. We looked at like Facebook Marketplace, we looked at eBay, we looked at Macari, Macari yeah. for sure. I love Macari. Um, but we really love the way that Poshmark handles it. You know, they do the same kind of like escrowing the funds. Um, if you look at the My Money Screw, we're just talking about this kind of basically modeled on what Poshmark does. Mm -hmm. um, so we think that that's a really good model. And if anybody is like, you know, wondering about how the Collects Marketplace works and you're familiar with Poshmark, it's basically the same kind of mechanism yeah. as there. 
tried to give a little bit more freedom and functionality with shipping. That's probably the biggest difference because mm -hmm. we have a lot more optionality there. Um, but everything else is, is is sort of like the same basic marketplace mechanics as, as a Poshmark. Love it. Uh, awesome. So, uh, yeah, make sure you uh, download Collects, update to the latest version on uh, iOS and Android, and get snapping, scanning your cards, listen for sale, and uh, do some deals. Or, as you say, make sports, car make sports cards your side hustle, right? To make the hobby your hustle. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. All right. right. So, exciting things in the works, continuing to grow. And, uh, you know, we, we appreciate all the feedback and, and uh, the Collects Marketplace and people downloading collects and uh, reaching a lot of huge milestones in the weeks and months ahead and uh, yeah, exciting things for collects. So make sure you go buy and sell your cards on the collects marketplace. And uh, thanks for watching another episode of Car John powered by collects and Card Dealer Pro. Buy and sell your cards on collects.